Hello guys, welcome back, and well, there she is, or he is, I don't know, I don't usually put genders on my kids, I think it's weird, but anyway, <coughs> kids finish, okay, um, I would like to talk about the, the kit itself before I, I show you guys the, the, the photo slideshow at the end, um, great kit, to me, uh, you know, 1970s to me uh, everybody knows it's just gonna have no no feeling issues at all um the only downfall the only thing that i hated about this kit was the tracks okay as you guys could see here i i try my best to cover them to cover the tracks to cover the gaps i mean on the tracks um, if you watch my, my other videos, I talk about how they snapped on me, um, how they bent the wheels. I had to pin the, the both wheels, I had to pin them so that they wouldn't bend because it was so tight. Uh, I've seen other builds online and, and I don't see any issues with the tracks. So maybe it was just my luck, but... Um, the one thing though I'm gonna say that I was really really surprised because when it comes to aftermarket there's a engine compartment for it there's tons of storage for it uh, tons of uh, sets wheel sets for the front if you want them with chains without chains but there isn't one single one for the tracks and I was very very shocked because that is the one thing that this kid needs so I hope they come out with with um, Tamiya comes out with another uh, rebox or reissue of this kid and they they you know they make the tracks a lot better but um, other than that guys this I enjoyed it I, I ended up using different decals because of its age of the kit uh, 1974 uh, the decals were yellowed and as soon as they touched the water they dissolved I tried putting a clear coat over it and that didn't work so I just ended up uh, buying aftermarket decals I used the star decals very nice decals they're they're a little thin thinner than what I'm used to but uh, they worked out great I used a technique that I learned from one of the guys at the club uh, which is using a, a hair dry um, to to dry the decals and to actually melt the decals on the plastic so that worked really well especially on the ladders here hopefully you guys could see that on the on the pictures the figures I ended up using just three figures let me let me zoom in okay um because i wanted to use the storage set so i didn't want it to look so crowded even though in real pictures you can see they pack these things like crazy and um i i just you know i, I thought three of them will uh will be more than enough i ended up dry brushing the vehicle just to make these uh rivets and hinges and all that stuff popped i used a little bit of um dry brushing on the on the figures as well and uh, for the base uh, I wasn't gonna build a diorama that's why I went you know for a more a dusty kind of look um, so for the base I just used this base from um, coastal kits uh, in the UK I have a video that talks about them if you do a search it should pop up um, it just complements your your models guys um, believe me they're inexpensive and, and they're great this is this is actually the modern uh, US um, armor base um, but you know you can use it for whatever whatever you want really and um, yeah let me know that, guys what you think uh, like I said, I recommend this for any level, okay, from beginner to advanced. It really, really wouldn't, I don't, I don't think it's going to give you any issues. 
just to track you might want to pay more attention on, on how to handle them and and um, place them um, what else what else what else and that's it guys I mean it's 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 a great kit I highly recommend it you you should uh, you should enjoy it if you ever ever build it so I'm gonna leave you guys with a photo slide the slideshow that I put together and um, I want to thank everyone for for the comments on the videos and um, any constructive criticism is always welcome uh, and you know as always my name is Lewis and I'll catch you guys on my next video bye bye